my name is Mrs. Shanoth from Skyview Elementary. In today's video, we will observe and discuss the life cycles of different animals. It's important to understand the life cycles of various animals because it will help us to understand the ways animals are alike and different and help us to understand the details about the different stages of an animal's life. Have you ever heard the question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? It's an old common question, one of those questions that doesn't really require an answer. It was often asked to get people thinking about cycles, how one thing happens because something else already happened, but that thing happened because of the thing that happened before it. But then eventually you'll get to a place where the cycle starts all over again. A cycle is a circle of events that has no beginning or ending. The life cycles of animals are an example of this because they are cycles they go around in a circle without a clear beginning or ending. Different animals have different life cycles. Let's take a look, for example, at the life cycle of chickens. Each chicken goes through a cycle of life stages. A chicken's first life stage is an egg. A few weeks later, after the egg is laid, it hatches and a live chicken is born. After a few months, the chick grows into an adult chicken, which then continues the cycle by laying another egg. Can you see how the stages of chickens form a circle that doesn't end? Frogs go through different life cycle stages too. The life cycle of a frog is much different than the life cycle of a chicken. A frog is a type of animal called an amphibian. Can you say that word? An amphibian typically lives part of its life in the water and part of its life on land. For this reason, a frog's life cycle includes stages that allow it to make this change. The changes in the frog's body are called its metamorphosis. Let's take a look. A frog lays its eggs in the water. It can lay thousands of eggs at a time. After a few weeks, each egg becomes a tadpole. The tadpole has a long tail and lives completely in the water. Around five weeks later, the tadpole's body begins to change. Over time, it grows front legs and hind legs, develops lungs to live on land, and its tail grows smaller. Soon it becomes an adult frog and lives mainly on land. The cycle can then begin again. The entire life cycle of a frog from egg to adult frog usually takes around 11 weeks. Now let's take a look at this goldfish. A fish has a different life cycle than both the chicken and the frog. As a water animal, it lays its eggs in the water. The eggs hatch within two to three days and a fry emerges. The fry only takes about one week to grow into the shape of an adult goldfish. So different animals have very different life cycles. Can you think of one thing that was the same between the life cycles of the chicken the frog and the fish? One similarity is that they all lay eggs. Can you think of something that is different? Each animal's life cycle is adapted to where the animal lives, either on land, in the water, or both. In today's video, we observed, compared, and contrasted the life cycles of a chicken, a frog, and a fish. With the help of a grown-up, choose one of these three kinds of animals and record the stages of its life cycle. Draw a diagram that shows a cycle with no beginning and no ending. Draw each life stage that type of animal goes through with arrows in between that point to the next stage and write the name of each stage next to each picture. How does each life stage help that type of animal to survive in its environment? Until next time, I'll be seeing ya.